Kojak was a TV crime drama like none other. Telly Savalas starred as the title character, Theo Kojak, a New York City Police Department detective lieutenant. The series aired on CBS from 1973 to 78 and enjoyed high ratings. It was set in the 11th Precinct and filmed on location in New York City. The series' plot revolved around the tough, no-nonsense lieutenant's efforts investigating crimes. Kojak, who was bald, stubborn, and happened to have a love for Tootsie Roll Pops, wasn't afraid afraid to bend the rules if he thought it would bring criminals to justice. Sadly, seeing how it's been quite some years since Kojak was saving the day and busting baddies on network television, the majority of the show's cast members have since died. Join Factsverse as we pay our respects to their fallen performers by taking a moment to reflect on their lives and careers. Telly Savalas Born Aristotelus Savalas on January 21, 1922, Telly, as he was known professionally, enjoyed a career in the entertainment industry as an actor and singer that spanned four decades. He was known for his interesting physical features and resoundingly deep voice. He was a striking man with piercing eyes and a bald head. He was the kind of person who could shut you up by giving you one disapproving look, but at the same time he could make you laugh with his wry humor. He was born in Garden City, New York to Greek parents Christina and Nick Savalas. His father owned a restaurant while his mother was a homemaker. He had four siblings. His brother Gus sold newspapers and polished shoes to help pay the bills. Money was tight, but the Savalas family did their best to support each other. After graduating from high school, Savalas was drafted into the U.S. Army in 1941. He was discharged in 43 with the rank of corporal after sustaining severe injuries in a car accident. He spent the next year recuperating in the hospital with a concussion, sprained ankle, and broken pelvis. After his injuries healed, he attended the Armed Forces Institute, where he studied TV and radio production. In 1946, he received his bachelor's in psychology from Columbia's School of General Studies, after which he started working on getting his master's degree while prepping for med school. But instead of pursuing a career in medicine, he got a job working for the State Department as a host of the ABC News program, Your Voice of America. In 1950, he landed a hosting gig for a radio show called The Coffee House in New York City. In 1958, he was cast in an episode of Armstrong Circle Theater after it was discovered he could deliver deliver a convincing European accent. From there, he became an in-demand guest star on TV shows. Over the course of the next few years, he appeared on shows like Naked City, Diagnosis Unknown, The Witness, and The United States Steel Hour. In 1961, he was a regular on the NBC series Acapulco, his first real recurring role. After appearing in a few films, including 1961's Mad Dog Call and Birdman of Alcatraz in 1962, Savalas returned to TV, appearing on hit shows like The Fugitive, The Twilight Zone, and The Detectives. Throughout the remainder of the 60s and 70s, he appeared in supporting roles in dozens of films and TV shows. He landed his first leading role in 1969's Crooks and Coronets. Savalas played Theo Co. Jack from 1973 to 78. The role ended up winning him an Emmy and two Golden Globes for Best Actor in a Drama Series. After the show was canceled in 1978, CBS called him back to appear in a series of Kojak television films. The first aired in 1985, and another six were aired later on in the decade. Following Kojak, Savalas continued to act and direct. Some of the films he worked on included Beyond Reason, Cannonball Run 2, and The Equalizer. His final role was in three episodes of the TV series The Commish in 1992. He died January 22, 1994 from complications from bladder and prostate cancer. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more on the cast of Kojak. Dan Fraser Daniel Thomas Fraser was born in New York City, November 20, 1921. During World War II, he served in the Special Services Division of the U.S. Army. It was there that he got exposure to theatrical directing and writing. Fraser's screen career started in 1950. Some of his TV appearances included roles in shows like Car 54, Where Are You?, Blue Light, Barney Miller, and The Untouchables. His first film role was in the 1963 comedy Lilies of the Field. On Kojak, Fraser played Captain Frank McNeil from 1973 to 78. He later reprised that role in the 1985 TV film Kojak, The Belarus File. Fraser continued to act until 2009 when he appeared in his final role in the film The Pack. At the age of 90, he died of cardiac arrest in his home in Manhattan on December 16, 2011. George Savalas 
Born Georgius Demosthenes Savalas on December 5, 1924, this heavyset actor got started acting doing stage theater not long after graduating from Columbia University. Like his brother, he also served in the U.S. Armed Forces in World War II. While best known for his role on Kojak as Sergeant Stavros, George also made appearances in films such as The Slender Thread and Kelly's Heroes. In his later years, after retiring from screen acting, George performed in a number of off-Broadway theater productions. He also released a popular Greek language music album and toured with his band. He died of leukemia at age 60 on October 2, 1985. Kevin Dobson Best known for his role as Detective Bobby Crocker on Kojak, Dobson was born in Queens, New York on March 18, 1943. He later played Patrick Mark McKenzie on the CBS primetime soap opera Knott's Landing from 1982 to 93. Most recently, he made an appearance on the NBC daytime soap Days of Our Lives in 2008, playing the character Mickey Horton. His last film role was in the 2004 short Full Circle as Henry. His final TV role was in an episode of 12 to Midnight in 2017. Dobson died from complications of an autoimmune deficiency on September 6, 2020. He was 77. Vince Conti Conti, born November 22, 1930, played Detective Rizzo in 92 episodes of Kojak. He later reprised that role in the 1985 Kojak TV film The Belarus File. After that, he shifted his professional focus to photography. In 1993, it was revealed he'd been involved in Heidi Fleiss's Call Girl ring and was sentenced to three years in prison. Conti passed away at age 83 on September 5th, 2018. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite character on Kojak? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.